Well, so much for that game being exclusive. Uh, as it turns out, the Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S will be getting both of the biggest RPGs in 2023. As we already know, the Xbox is set to release Starfield on September 1st with early access. Uh, it is set to be one of the biggest games of the generation, uh, as well as one of the biggest games that Xbox has ever shipped. I know a lot of people, including myself, are saying that Starfield is as important to Xbox as Halo. Uh, <laughs> that's how bad things have been uh, for a while for Xbox. So let's just hope Starfield holds up uh, to the expectations that we have put on it, which to some may be too much. But as it turns out, Baldur's Gate 3 turned out to be absolutely phenomenal for people who are fans, fans of the franchise. It is out on PC right now, and it is set to release on September 6th, the same day as the non-early access for Starfield. So naturally, a lot of people tend to pick these two games together, not just because they're both RPGs, but because one is releasing exclusively on Xbox and one is releasing exclusively on PlayStation. As we know, there's been some issues with the Xbox Series S, and so Baldur's Gate 3's release for the Xbox consoles was pushed out. That is because Xbox does have a parity clause where they saying, hey, if you release something on the Xbox Series X, the Xbox Series S outside of resolution has to be the same. As we found out, the split screen and some other things were an issue and Microsoft decided, you know what, we're going to go ahead and bend the knee and we want Baldur's Gate to release on our platform this year in 2023. Now, for a lot of people, this could be nothing because let's keep it honest. How many of you guys are actually playing split split, split screen co-op? That was difficult to say. How many people are actually using that feature in games, right? Not very many. But the president now, the president has now been set to where, all right, maybe the Xbox Series S does not have exactly the same features as the Xbox Series X versions of games the floodgates could have been open now this could be a one-off because microsoft sees that this game is one of the biggest games of the year and they don't want to wait until 2024 for console players to be able to experience it they want to be able to experience it this year i wouldn't be shocked if it released on the xbox consoles around december because frankly if i'm xbox i kind of want to keep it away from starfield i want people on my platform to be playing starfield but it, it begs the question is the xbox series s in trouble now, it's not just a Baldur's Skate 3. There are a couple other games where we hear developers are having issues with the console. I'm not a big tech guy. I'll be hearing that the RAM may be an issue. Uh, if I'm Microsoft and, and this becomes more of an issue, I they should continue to break that parity. Uh, unless it's something like major, like this is important to the game, I don't see why it, it should be left out. Now, I get it. The Xbox Series S technically is the base console it's the console they push the most of people to buy and i can see those gamers not want, wanting to be shafted but at this point it is what it is and it is what microsoft has position they have put themselves into and so the xbox series s really might be in trouble i have an xbox series x and i have an xbox series s my x is for for me the s is for the family so, so to be honest not to say i don't really care but i don't really care because i personally i'm gonna be missing i know that's a bad thing to say i get it but i do not think the xbox series s is going to get shafted we're not going to see major things missing um between the xbox series x and xbox series s because i'm sorry split screen co-op Couch co-op, split screen is not important to gamers these days. Uh, I know a lot of people are upset about this on social media, but I'm be honest with you, it's selective fake outrage because how many people, let's be honest, are actually using split screen co-op for this game? I would love somebody to prove me wrong and say, hey, fame, here's a bunch of content of people, of people actually using this feature. Um, but again, I understand the precedence, right? I understand what this could mean for the Series S moving forward and that it could be missing some features from more and more games. And Microsoft may have to do that because they cannot be in a position to where games are not releasing on the Xbox Series X because of what seemingly is uh, some mistakes they've made with the Xbox Series S when trying to get this console out this generation, making sure it is the cheapest entry into next gen, which is currently this gen. Uh, so I, I can definitely see why they made the decisions they made, but it may have bit them in the ass. Good news for Xbox players though, not only are you playing Starfield this year, you can also play Baldur's Gate 3. So two of the biggest RPGs this year can only be played on one console or series, series of consoles, and that is the xbox let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below did microsoft bend the knee does, does this spell trouble for the xbox series s 
This is Fan Entertainment from LV1Gamer.com. You guys have a great one, and I'm out.